Starkru software is used to analyze and design the structures. When we analyze the structure using Star software, we get many warnings and errors. Hey friends, welcome back to Sivin Sharing Master. In this video, we are going to discuss the warnings and errors which we are getting in the Star Pro software and how we can resolve those warnings and errors with practical examples. So without further delay, let's begin now. In this model, we have 140 warnings. If you double click on this warning, it will be highlighted here. The first warning is if this UBC or IBC analysis has tension or compression or repeat load or reanalysis or select optimus. For this, it has to be followed by perform analysis and change. So whenever we define the earthquake load or seismic load, there you have to give the command perform analysis and change. Now let's close this one and then go to start editor file. In start editor, see we have the earthquake load definition over here. Define 1893 load that is seismic load and here the parameters are given. After this, we have load 1 that is representing the seismic load in the x direction. Okay. So after this load 1, we have to type the command perform analysis just double click on this and then enter give change the same you can copy and then you can paste it after the load specified in the z direction perform analysis change now you can save and then close let's run the model once again and then let's see how much warning we are getting we've got 165 warnings Let's check whether we have that UBC warning. If you click on this warning, it is about zero stiffness. So all these warnings are that one only. And here, if you see, again, we are getting the same thing. Most of the warnings are zero stiffness. And uh, this one is length to depth ratio for member. This is uh, next warning. If you go till the end, the first warning is resolved. We don't have that UBC or IBC warning now. Okay. Now let's resolve this zero stiffness warning. In this warning, you can notice here the directions are given. 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 2. Like this directions are given. And total degrees of freedom is given. And the warning says that there were more than 12 degrees of freedom with zero stiffness. Before resolving this zero stiffness error let's discuss few basic things about the degrees of freedom we all know about the degrees of freedom it refers to the possible movements or displacement of a particular node when the external load is applied on that particular node let's take this node and let's consider this as x direction which is similar to the global axis of the Stratpro software and here let's consider this as y and this will be the z direction if this node is free to move in the x direction we can say this one as delta x and if it is free to move in the y direction we can say this one as delta y and similarly if it is free to move in the z direction we can mark it as delta z so we have three movements these movements are translational movements Similar to the translational movement, if the node is allowed to rotate in the x direction, this is the rotational movement of the node in the x direction. If the node is free to rotate in the y direction, this is the rotation movement in the y direction. Similarly, if it is free to rotate in the z direction, this is the rotational movement in the z direction. These rotations we can mark it as theta. Theta x, this will be theta y this will be theta z so we have six degrees of freedom three are in the translational direction and three are in the rotational direction we can provide numbers to this degrees of freedom delta x is y delta y is 2 and delta z is 3 in the translational direction similarly we can provide number in the rotational direction theta x will be 4 and theta y will be 5 and theta z will be 6 
I hope it is clear to you. We have six degrees of freedom, and we have numbered translational and rotational movement from one to six. As we have discussed before in the start output file, the direction numbers were given. So from that we can come to know in that particular direction numbers the stiffness is zero. So here we have direction four six two four six like this. From this direction we can come to know the degrees of freedom. So in that particular direction, for example, if you take four and six, four is the rotational degrees of freedom about x-axis and six is the rotational degrees of freedom about z-axis. So in these two axes. The stiffness is zero, or we can say rotation is not restricted. To resolve this warning, we have to go to specification and here click on this beam, and we have release option. Under release, we have already assigned the releases. So under the specification, we have already assigned the releases. Let's close this, and here. Select this first one. Start MX and MZ. Go to Edit. Here, what we can do instead of full release, we can hold one percent stiffness at that particular node. So for that, we have to select this partial moment release option, and then we can just click on this MPX and MPZ. And here, instead of zero, zero means zero stiffness. Instead of zero, we can give. 0.99 that is 9 99 percentage so there will be so we are considering only 1 percent of stiffness at the particular joint give change see the specification changed over here and similarly we can do the edit in this also partial release and here we can select this mpx and mpz give 0.99 change similarly for this end release also we can do the edit partial moment release 0.99 change similarly here change Close this. Let's save. Let's run the analysis again. We have got six thirty six warning. Let's go to output file. Now, if you click on this, it is showing that partial moment value of zero point zero zero reset to the minimum allowed of. 0.0001 so that means the stat has reset the partial moment value from 0 to 0.0001 okay so the stiffness warning has gone now we don't have that stiffness warning if you click on this we have another warning that is section fails while design and one more warning we are getting that is length to depth ratio for member 426 is less than 2.5 if we come down we are getting the same warnings length to depth ratio and another warning section fails while designing if we come to the end we are getting the warning as reinforcement percentage exceeding the maximum limit section is not adequate so we have to address these warnings now let's go to the model and here what we can do is first let's resolve the length to depth ratio warning to resolve this warning what we have to do is go to this concrete design just expand this see here we have Design beam and column. So before design beam, we have to add one parameter that is inch. Go to define here. Select this inch parameter. So by default, it is taking zero. The value of this inch parameter is zero. This is perform shear check against enhanced shear strength as per 
IS456. Okay. So here we have to give 1 and then add. This has to be before this design beam. Just right click on that parameter and then delete that. Let's define the parameter again Ends and the value has 1. Here let's select this after current option because after this FY500 only the enhanced shear parameter has to come before design beam. So let's add inch parameter is added now. Let's close this one. Now let's select all the beams and assign this parameter. Go to select. Here you can select beams parallel to Y. That means all the beams which are parallel to Y direction will be selected. Then you can select the inverse option. That means like the beams which are inverse to the Y direction will be selected. Beams parallel to X direction and Z direction. Now we can assign this to all the selected members. Give assign. Give as it is assigned now. Let's go to analysis and then run analysis. We have 532 warnings now. Let's look into the output file. If we check this warnings, we are getting the same warnings. That is section files. Now we are getting this section file warning and one more warning is the reinforcement is not adequate. So this section failure warning and reinforcement not adequate warning can be solved by increasing the member properties that is the size of the member. If you want a separate video for that you can post it in the comment box. So we will discuss that section failure warning how to resolve that one. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you really like the content, hit the like button and also share it with your friends. Your comments are always welcome. Whatever the queries you have, post it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.